The Federal Reserve hates gold and silver for that matter. Have you heard that before? Are you maybe a little confused? Like, yeah, sure, Ron, I've heard that, but I don't really understand why. Well, in this video, not only am I going to take you on a little trip to McDonald's, but we're also going to explain why the Federal Reserve and Jerome Powell and all those people in Washington hate gold and silver. It is their enemy. Let's get started right now. Have you had that experience in life where you hear something, you believe it, but you don't really know why? Kind of like when somebody tells you a joke and you laugh, but you don't really get it. That happens to me from time to time, and that may happen to you. But I want to clear up this reasoning behind why the United States Federal Reserve does not like gold. But first, we're going to go on a little trip to McDonald's. Are you hungry? What do you like to eat at McDonald's? My favorite is the McChicken. Now think about this. If the McDonald's Corporation was looking out at the business environment and they saw Chick-fil-A. For those of you not in the United States of America, Chick-fil-A is a rapidly growing restaurant chain that only sells chicken, right? They even have billboards on the, on the roads that kind of make fun of cows and beef and all that kind of stuff. So let's go back to McDonald's. The corporate headquarters decides, you know what? Chicken is growing much, much faster, and there's better profit margin in chicken. So let's say the head guys at McDonald's decide we're going to get out of the beef business. No more quarter pounders, no more hamburgers, no beef. We're going to be strictly chicken. Wouldn't you think then they would have a vested interest in kind of bashing beef like, oh, it's not as healthy as chicken and it doesn't taste as good. Chicken is what you want to do. You don't want any more beef. No more beef. Well, that's exactly what happened in 1971 right here in the United States of America when our beloved President Richard Nixon took the United States off the gold standard. He said gold wasn't going to back the U.S. dollar anymore. So at that point, the United States government, the Federal Reserve, they had a vested interest in gold not doing well. Bad talking gold. You couldn't even own gold in the United States between like 1930 and 1974. At that point, when the dollar was no longer backed by gold, they didn't want gold to do well. It makes sense. It's like if McDonald's switched to chicken, right? They're going to badmouth beef. And just like that, when the United States government switched from gold to essentially the petrodollar and oil, they had a vested interest in bashing gold. That has actually been proven, right? There's been uh, papers and books written on the fact that the United States and the Federal Reserve had a effort underway to devalue gold because if gold does well against the dollar it makes the dollar look bad they switched over to the petrodollar and we know how that worked out for us and we know what a great job our leaders did managing a dollar that's based on nothing more than trust oil and a little sprinkling of unicorn fart dust they have gotten out of control. Heck, since we went off the gold standard, I just read the dollar has gone down 95% in value. Look, I could be all wrong about all of this. I just wanted to share with you my thoughts on the matter because really, frankly, honestly, I never really understood why people would always say that the Fed or that the government doesn't like gold. And it kind of became clear to me over the last several months Wanted to share it with you. I'm always wanting to hear your feedback. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoy my video, if you like diving a little deeper, if you're a little smarter than the average bear, you may have found yourself a home. It's just me and you here in the basement. We can talk. We can figure it out. I'll be here for you through all these choppy waters we're encountering. If you got any value, please subscribe, turn on the little bell. You'll get notified every time I put a new video. And don't forget, leave a comment. Until next time, you 
There's only one you, and that's true. Be well.